and uh, welcome to another video in this video I'm going to do a quick introduction to VI covering the very basics so you learn how to uh, move around as well as uh, do some basic text input and editing a file in VI uh, VI comes uh, pre-installed by default in all major uh, Linux and as well as Unix distribution so uh, so once you get to know uh, at least the basics in VI, you you uh, you learn that it's really powerful uh, text editor. And so in order to start VI, just type VI followed by the name of the file. In this case, I'm going to create a file called hello.sh. And so when you first open uh, when you open VI, uh, well actually VI uh, has two modes. Uh, when you uh, open a document in VI by default it opens in command mode. In this mode you can move around uh, and do some basic stuff and so that is command mode and, and the other mode is insert mode and that's where you get to enter and edit the document or the text file. Uh, so in order to go into insert mode just type uh, the letter I and then you can start typing. For example, I'm going to type the first line of a shell ch script, bash script. Um, so it's basically uh, bin dash. And here I'm going to say echo hello world. And so that is my file. So once I'm done uh, uh, inserting text and I'm ready to save the file, I need to go back into command mode and I go back by uh, using the escape key and then I can go uh, column W to write the file and Q to exit the file or quit. If I want to exit the file without saving it, I just can type Q for quitting and press enter. But I want to save the file, so I'm going to do a W and quit. I'm going to press enter. And so now if I do cat hello that is sh notice that and that is the context of the file so next i'm going to uh, show you how to um, move around and do some basic stuff in command mode so i'm going to open another file this one is called backup data sage and it does contain a little bit more uh, uh, of text so like i said before when you first open vi you're going to find yourself in command mode so here, uh, you can move around, uh, copy text and paste text. So let's say that I want to move to the uh, end of the file. So in order to move to the end of the file, I'm going to press Shift and the letter G. And notice that it takes me to the last uh, line of the file. If I want to move to the very first line of the file, I just press the letter G twice. And it uh, takes me to the very beginning of the file. Um, let's say that I want to move uh, down so in order to move down I'm going to hit on the J key and notice that it takes me one line at a time if I want to move up I press the K key and it takes me up one line at a time in order to move right I'm going to press the L key And it takes me uh, one character at a time uh, to the right. Uh, if I want to move to the left, I'm going to press the H key. And it takes me one character uh, at a time to the left. And so another thing is that if I want to move to the end of the line, I'm going to hit shift and dollar sign. And that is going to take me to the, uh, to the end of that line. If I want to move to the very beginning of the line, I'm going to uh, press the letter shift and the special character on, uh, on key number six, which is, it looks like an op arrow. And that's going to take me to the very beginning. Um, in order to move to the next word, I'm going to press the, uh, I'm going to hit the letter W and that is going to take me to the next, it's going to jump one word at a time. Uh, in order to uh, go back one word at a time, just hit the letter B and it takes you to the beginning of uh, the previous word. Uh, let's say that I want to undo changes, so I'm going to go back, go, um, 
uh, up one line and I'm going to insert a comment here so I'm going to uh, uh, hit the letter I to insert and then I'm going to start typing I'm going to enter some random text and uh, let's say that I want to undo the last change so in order to undo the last change I need to go, I need to escape from insert mode and go back into command uh, mode so I'm going to hit the escape key and I'm going to type the letter U and notice that uh, it deletes all previous changes and if I want to um, that is the uh, it undo the last changes if I want to undo all previous changes I need to do uh, shift U which is capital U good command to um, to know um, let's say that I want to um, insert a new line right below uh, the current line so what I'm going to do here I'm going to uh, press the letter O I need to be in command mode here I'm going to press the letter O and I'm going to get a new line below the current line so and now I'm ready to start typing uh, so I'm going to press enter to continue typing and uh, let's say that I want to uh, delete the last two lines. I have two options here. I can either start undo changes but there is another option in which I can uh, completely delete the current line and in order to do that again I'm in insert mode I need to uh, escape from insert mode so I'm going to press the escape key and I'm going to, in order to uh, delete the current line, I'm going to uh, press the letter D twice and that is going to delete that line so I'm going to delete the above line so I'm going to go up one line pressing the letter K and I'm going to press the letter D twice and that's going to delete that line another command is to insert a line above the current line so the letter O in command mode inserts a line below shift O or capital O inserts a line above the current line so I'm going to type here uh, hello intro to VI and so let's say I want to delete the word hello so I'm going to go into the very beginning I need actually before I need to escape from insert mode sometimes I do forget that and uh, notice that I have an op arrow uh, where the cursor is blinking so if I wanted to delete a single character I just press the letter X and that deletes that, uh, that character and so I'm going to move to the beginning of the line shift uh, number 6 and I'm going to uh, delete the word hello so I'm going to press X until I delete all characters and so the letter X in command mode deletes one character at a time and uh, the final thing that I wanted to cover um, this is a quick intro to VI so I'm not getting I'm not going to get too, too deep into um, VI uh, VI has a lot more things uh, that you can cover but at least I feel that knowing the very basics uh, is what you uh, what a uh, what you should concentrate when you first start using VI um, next thing that I wanted to cover is searching for swing in VI and so in order to do that we need to go back into uh, command mode so hit escape um, I'm going to delete the current line press D twice and I'm going to um, in order to go into uh, search mode and like I said before you need to be in command mode then press forward uh, forward slash and notice now that the cursor is blinking at the very bottom of the terminal and so now it's uh, uh, waiting for input of a search string let's say that I want to search for the string backup so I'm going to press enter and it's going to take me to the first occurrence uh, of the backup uh, word that is under where the cursor was placed so notice that I have another instance of backup here that one was not found because the cursor was placed here so if you're searching for the entire document you want to make sure that you place your cursor at the very top of the document so I'm going to go escape and I'm going to move to the very first line remember in order to move to the first very first line G twice 
And now I'm going to search again. And I'm going to type back up, press enter, and notice there was another instance of uh, backup right here. And so in order to find the next instance, when you are uh, searching for, for a string, just press uh, the end word, and it's going to take you to the next instance, the next instance, the next instance. And so I'm going to stop here. Um, I think this covers uh, the very basics. Like I said before, you can uh, do probably about an hour of uh, VI uh, commands and how to work in, in VI, but uh, I think this is enough. So once again, uh, thanks for watching. I hope it was so helpful. And uh, as always, uh, see you in the next tutorial.